Hi everyone, I hope I'm in focus right now because my camera gets out of it sometimes. But I'm Maddie Mae, welcome back or to my channel if you're new. Um, I have a really fun video that I think is different from anything I've ever done on my channel. Mostly because while I was in college, I literally never dressed up. There was always some college party going on where you dressed up and I always had an exam the next day. Um, and so I literally never dressed up a single time in college, but now that I'm on my gap year, I have a job and I may or may not be dating a guy. We'll see if I put that on the internet yet, but so on Friday, since it's spirit week at work, we can wear our costume. So it's Thursday night and I'm getting my costume ready. By the way, I'm in the basement. So if you hear people above me, that is what that is. But then on Saturday, I'm going to a tailgate for a football game, and it's like a Halloween tailgate, so you wear your costume. So now that I'm out of college and I don't have a test to study for, I actually have a reason to make a costume. So I am going to be Flo from Progressive, and Caleb is going to be Jake from State Farm. So I'll put the picture, the inspo picture on the screen. I thought it definitely fit our personalities because it's more funny. And so I've got a lot of the materials here and I'm going to try my very best to put it together. And by the way, if you want to copy this, there are full Amazon costumes on Amazon, but they're $40 and they said they wouldn't get here until after Halloween. So I kind of just had to make it my own, but I think that it's gonna end up looking pretty good. So to make this video a little more interesting, I put on my Instagram um, the like make assumptions about me thing. Because I know you guys are a little bit too nice, um, I also put a question box. So if you didn't have an assumption about me to submit, then you can put questions. So I'm gonna do a few assumptions, a few questions, and we're gonna put together my progressive flow out. So the first thing I have to do is on my computer, I'm gonna screen record it so you guys can see it. Um, but I've got to download the progressive logo and somehow get it printed out. And I'm probably gonna hot glue it to the apron. So I guess I'll do assumption, question, assumption, question. Sorry, if I talk really slowly, it's because I'm focusing on the logo, so just keep that in mind. But the first assumption comes from Jamie and she says, you're naturally smart without studying very hard. And I feel like if you really knew me, then you would know that I seem to study way longer and way more than the standard like smart person in my major, I would say. But at the same time, I feel like I have strong suits that they don't necessarily have. It's like we all have our our strong suits and um, there's things that I was able to do way, way easier than a lot of the people in my science major. For example, organic chemistry came really easily to me because I felt like it was drawing pictures. It was really easy for me to um, kind of visualize those molecules as something fun and creative for me to do and I didn't really feel stressed by the different mechanisms because I had that creative mindset and so I think that it kind of just comes down to the fact of like how you best learn and so I wouldn't say I'm naturally super smart and I don't have to study hard but I will say that I have different um, pieces of myself that make certain subjects easier but you guys know I studied so hard for my MCATs and like some people can take the MCAT the first time and get a 525 and clearly it was a lot harder for me. I, again, I just think people have their strong suits, so I definitely am not good at certain things, but the things I am good at makes up for that. So I've got the progressive logo right here, but I don't know if this is too big or not. I guess I can do this. I can do a print preview. Open PDF and preview. Yeah, so... That seems like it would be pretty perfect. So we're gonna print that size. But I've also got to put, got to put the I love insurance sign on here. So I'll do the same thing. Um, I love insurance. Okay, the next thing I'll answer is a question. And I will answer what was the hardest class you took in college? I think the hardest class I took in college was Calc 3, so Calculus 3. Um, I love science, but 
math is not really my strong suit that's why i hated gen chem because all gen chem is is math and i loved organic and biochemistry because that was actual like metabolic pathways um but i hated gen chem because it was all periodic table and mass to moles to grams to whatever whatever so um calc 3 was very very hard for me i also did not care for the professor so i would definitely say that was my, my hardest class but also lab um organic lab i hated going to lab i have a vlog of me on my channel actually crying after lab because it was so stressful so i also didn't really like lab i don't know maybe i'll just use this since it's all white i'm looking i'm looking there we go we're in business you guys copy image paste <gasps> perfect that looks so good i'm so excited okay I think I have to make this a little smaller though because I have this button that I'm going to like paste it on so it has to be at least the size of this button. Oh, I didn't press color. Do you think it will? Okay, good. It's doing it in color. Perfect. Slice, slice. Do you want to put some backing on it though so that when you glue it on it? No. So originally I was going to cut out the letters um by themselves but i think i'm just gonna print out this whole thing and glue that on there what do you guys think i mean i'm a rookie so i'll just have to see what it looks like okay the next assumption i'm gonna answer is um that i assume you love horror movies i would say i do love horror movies but i have to be watching them with someone We'll do the button first. Um, I also got an assumption that was like, I sleep with my socks on and I do not sleep with my socks on. I also got an assumption that was that I have a lot of friends. And I would say, like, I don't really know the answer to that because if you consider all of my friends that I stay in touch with in Florida, then maybe that's true. Because if you combine my college friends with my Florida friends, with like the two friends I have here in Indiana then yeah I guess I have a lot of friends but if we're talking about just college or just Florida then I would say no um in high school I had the same like four friends all of high school and we were just like inseparable I have a bunch of videos with them on my channel if you scroll back Kind of far and then same thing with college i had like literally like one to two friends in college that i was with constantly one of them i even lived with her name was stephanie she's like my best friend um but i definitely did not have a lot of friends in college mostly because i was always studying and i was not really into the whole party scene i did make some really valuable friendships there that that will definitely cherish forever wow this is gonna look good uh Okay, one of the questions was, like, how is your new job going? Guys, I love this job. Um, let me see if this is going to look good. Oh, yeah, that'll be good. perfect. It's going to be so good. Um, so now I'm going to put some clear tape on it to, like, make it, like, just look better, I guess. So I am technically a clinical informatics specialist. Specialist which means I do about 50% scribe work and 50% clinical informatics. Kind of what that looks like is I go into the room with the provider and I do scribe work. So, um, you know, I keep track of the physical exam. If the patient talks about their hypertension, their hyperlipidemia, uh, arthritis, COPD, um, CHF, their cancer, any type of thing, uh, updates that they have. I literally write down everything that the patient says for sure and then most, if not all, of what the provider says. So that helps the provider stay focused on the patient and not just like sitting there typing the whole time. Um, and that's kind of why a lot of patients come to our clinic is because we have scribes. So the provider can give them their full attention and um, also make sure that everything gets documented and there's no um like funny business over what was said and what was not said um and so i do 
scribe work and I know a lot of people that are pre-meds do scribe work but I think what's cool about my job too is the informatics part so after the visit I'm in charge of putting in labs doing referrals sending off prescriptions to um, the local pharmacy um, I also will read the labs which is kind of crazy like I'm doing that as a scribe but I've quickly learned like what are the different um, scores for major depressive disorder, what are the different scores for um, a mammogram, DEXA, DEXA test, a FIT test, um, Cologuard test, like I'm reading echoes. There's just so many things like the learning curve on the, at this job is like straight up and it just feels absolutely insane. But this job has done nothing but solidify what I already knew about myself is which is that I love this field and even though it's hard as heck to get into I've like made the right decision pursuing this field because I am not mad about going to work every day I think it's so fun to meet these people to help these people to read results to write down new um, parts of their story collaborate with physicians and different and other scribes nurses MAs um, it's just really, really, really cool. And I also like that my job allows us to do fun things like, oh, I just realized I did something stupid. I, so the, the button is right here, but I made the thing this way. So I'll have to just like go up, I think. That looks so good. But no, I literally love this job. And I originally was doing it just for extra clinical experience, but I've quickly realized just how much I'm actually going to learn at this job and how it's only going to help me with medical school and I just highly recommend being a scribe if you're applying to medical school because you're going to learn so so much actually I'll do the badge next then we'll do the progressive thing but I'm going to just put that onto here and have a little name tag for Flo. I have learned so much in just my first two weeks. I can't even imagine being here for a few months, how much I'm gonna know, and then even six months. It's just absolutely crazy. My next question I wanted to answer, because I don't really know the answer, but it's what's your favorite genre of books? I feel like I just don't know. Like I feel like if you would have asked me this, like while I was in college, I would have said thriller because that's like mostly what I was reading. But I haven't found myself picking up too many thrillers. I've been picking up a lot of romance um, and even like I've been reading Harry Potter recently. And I read um, The Atlas Six, which was like dark academia. I really think I'm like a mood reader. I like to read whatever I'm in the mood for at that time. So I don't really think I have a genre I gravitate towards. I'm more like, what do I feel like reading? And then that's just kind of what ends up in my hands. Yeah, I think I have to redo this one because I got dog hair on it, which is very frustrating. All right, guys. So I think I'm going to put it right here. I've got my flow name tag that will go there. And the I Love Insurance right there, which looks so good. One of my assumptions was that I regret my gap year and that could not be further from the truth. I mean, obviously I applied to medical school to get in the first time, so I would have been happy um, in the position of medical school right now too. Oh, my mother just gave me a glue stick. Thank you, mother. Um, so I would have been happy if I would have gotten into medical school when I applied the first time, for sure. What the heck is this, Mom? Blue. But I don't know how to work this. I'm scared of this, Mom. What the heck? I'd rather use the glue stick. Do you want me to show you how to use it? No, I'm going to use the glue stick. But, you know, I did work very hard in college. I was literally, like I have said 12 billion times, always studying. And so it kind of would have been a really crazy thing for me to graduate college and start my first year of medical school um, within like two weeks. And I know that's the reality of a lot of people. A lot of people can get in the first time and do that. And I could have as well, but I can't say that I haven't enjoyed being off of school like just enjoying fall and not having 12 billion exams to study for and being at home and not having to wait until 
a break to come home and I just think that this gap year is has already been so full of growth for me um, especially with my new job that it's like thank goodness I didn't get into med school honestly because I've had so much growth the whole thing though is making sure that you center it you get all the edges really hope I don't mess this up okay gotta make this fast centered and then press baby press I'm scared it's like surgery put a little bit under there let me show you guys before my camera dies okay so I hot glued that on there looks really good and then I'll put my I love insurance button there my flow name tag and then I also bought a blue headband I'm gonna tease my hair and then wear red lipstick <sighs> since my camera is literally about to die I will charge it tonight and I'll turn on my camera in the morning when I'm getting ready for work in my costume all right I'm kind of in a rush but this is the hair and I honestly think it looks really good for not using a wig I could have had more volume but I don't know, I'm not, I don't have the right brush to tease my hair. I was using like a paddle brush. Um, but I did the flow eyeliner and since I wear a mask all day at work, um, because it's a healthcare facility, I didn't even really consider the red lipstick. But if I was going somewhere without a mask, then I would consider it. This looks so good. I guess I'm gonna tie it in a bow. Wow. And what are you wearing? Jig from State Farm. It looks good. I need to go to work now, but um, I'm proud of this, honestly.